too much one on one, too much ISO, terrible shot selection. How how do you breathe any kind of movement in right now? I mean, we just you know that's that's what we just addressed, and we're just talking about it, and like guys are just trying to do everything by themselves, you know. And when things get hard and we have no flow, and you know we're not getting out in transition to get easy buckets. I mean, other than <clears throat> thirty two free throws, like we you know we held them to pretty good percentages had opportunities to get out and run and um you know just we don't have any pop in transition we need easy ones as much as we can possibly get and um yeah just too much hijacking of the offense with the free throw disparity did you see that more as a product of shot selection on your part or tough calls or how did you see how that unfolded i mean yeah i mean i don't know how i saw it i mean it was you saw it. I saw it. It's like it felt like every time they were going to the hoop, they got a whistle. You know, we didn't drive as much as they did, but seven free throws and two of them were in the last few minutes. Just felt like we were going a little more than that. But you know, we got to be stronger. So. Is is there a, a mindset that this team has to has to develop when it comes to when the calls aren't maybe going your way, not to let it affect other areas of the game too much? Yeah, I think so. It's part of a maturity. I think frustration. I think the frustration was a little bit more with um, with just you know shot you know the ball not moving and you know got sticky and guys then you know weren't getting calls and then you're easy to guard and then then you know then, then they get some transition buckets on us. Kind of after this first stretch of games here, kind of where where is the team as uh, on a four on a four game skid right now in terms of their mindset and, and yeah, I mean they're not obviously happy and you know they're you know you know which is a good thing you don't want to be you know don't want to be satisfied yeah they're frustrated too. So. Why do you think you're seeing the same offensive issues game after game in terms of the ball movement? Yeah, I just think um, guys are just trying to do it. After one pass, all by themselves, you know. How do you coach it out of them? Yeah, I mean, we move the ball in practice. We do all the right things in practice. And um, when the lights come on and then they start counting stats, then things uh, get, you know, get get sticky. It seems like that especially happens, like, the first time something goes wrong. Um, I, you know, it, 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 you know, sometimes, like, it might be that. Sometimes it's like we're in a groove and – and we're playing well, but you know, certain guys not involved. Certain guys are not involved in that, and then they want to kind of get, you know, join the party, and you know, kind of a, feels like a record scratch. 